Awesome, beautiful afternoon, right? Okay. What do you think of your de uh, defensive performance so far in the training camp? You know, I think uh, you know it's it's been it's been a lot of positive so far. I think our guys have come out with the lead effort every day, which is really what we ask of them. Their how and how they go about things, and, and that's been awesome. And as long as we can stay on that trajectory, I think we're going to be in great shape as we head into our open. Anything you really feel you need to work on, any specific? You know, I think you know you're, you're never comfortable, right? You know, so. You know, whether it's in the run game or the pass game or each situation, I think Coach Fleck does an, a, an unbelievable job preparing our team to play situational football. So we just got to really you know, fine tune things, whether it's first down, second down, third down, the green zone, two minute drills. You know, we had a couple shots at those today. We just got to keep getting better situationally. You know, a smarter player is a better player. If we can stay on track with that, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be looking good. Which, which package do you think you'll use most? 3 4 4 3 2 4 nickel? <laughs> yeah, you I know, mean, that's, that, that's one of the things that, that has to be an advantage for us. I think our yeah. personnel is an advantage for us. I think our guys are really into that. You know, we're going to try to match like people that are on the field and get the best matchups on the field. So we're going to have 11 guys that match up the best against their 11 based on down and distance, based on where they are on the football field. So we, we got to be creative as coaches. We also got to really make sure we fine tune our techniques and fundamentals of each of those positions in order to be successful there. Sure. We've heard the cash package. Can you walk us through what that is? You know, uh, basically it's different ways of getting five defensive backs on the field. Okay. And then, you know, whether we want to be in a three down look or a four down look up front to, to get pressure on the quarterback, but you know, a, a variety of ways to get to that. So. You know, basically what we're trying to do is get enough defensive backs on the field to, to cover the amount of receivers that are in the game for the offense. What have you seen with uh, with Cody Polk since he wasn't available in the spring? What kind of play? You know, I tell you, you know, I think he's a guy that's uh, starting to develop as a leader for us. Okay. You know, his leadership skills. You know, he, he's he's doing it with his how right now, and, and you know he's got to become more vocal. But uh, he, he's a great leader. The guys have a tremendous amount of respect for him, and you know we're certainly excited about what he brings to the table. How do you feel, Stephen Richards has been playing? Great he, you know, I, he, I'm glad he's on our side. Let's put it that way. He's uh, he's a guy that I think he's made strides even from the spring to where he is right now in terms of learning the system and mastering the system. Coach Pop does an elite job with him, so we're really excited about where he is right now. But we got to keep pushing for him forward, just like everybody else on our defense to, uh, to get where we want to go. Does he give, have an advantage that he is, is not as tall as some of the offensive linemen? He, he does play with, he plays with unbelievable leverage. And, you know, I think he had an elite summer with uh, with Coach Nickel in the weight room. He's obviously very strong. You know, they call him a stove for a reason. And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy that works hard every day. And we're going to need to continue to get that out of him the rest of the training camp. How do you feel about Blake Cashman, how he's uh, progressing and, and how he fits in your system? You know, he, he's one of those guys that gives us a lot of flexibility. He can play the linebacker position. He can walk up and play defensive end. You know, he's, he's excellent in coverage. He runs really well. He was a defensive back in high school. He's a guy that gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot and allows us to do some creative things with him, you know, in certain packages. Very excited to, to work with him. Who do you look at as your best tackler? Hardest hitter, is there something? You know, I think the right? guy that sets the tempo for us defensively is John Salestine. He's solid, you know what you get every day. He brings the how. You know, we had a great, uh, you know, a, a, a tackling drill the other day that, that he stepped up. We had some great battles there. Uh, Thomas Barber's tackled very well. You know, so I, you know, our linebacker core has been, been really good there. The guy like Steve gets in the backfield, he takes his chances too. So, you know, we just got to continue to, to tackle. I know this a football player ends one of two ways. Either they score a touchdown or we tackle them. So we got to. We got to be ready to go. You mentioned the linebackers. Mm -hmm. You feel like this group has a chance to be something really special for you guys this year. Yeah, you know, they're they're a lot of fun to work with. You know, I'm not really into comparisons or anything like that, but uh, I know this. They work extremely hard every day. They uh, they study. They love to play the game. I think that's the most important thing. When you get guys that love to play the game, and it's important to them. You know that that's where you you know you, you get the little extra how out of them and and that this group certainly brings that. It's also kept the thumper nickname. Is that carried over in these days? He certainly hasn't <laughs> lost it. There's no question about it. He's a he, you know he, he's an excellent football player. Uh, you know I think he's an even better person and you know it's a it, it's a, it's a pleasure and a joy to, to coach him every day. All right, well, thank you guys. Thanks guys.